This video is brought to you by Extra. Stick around to the end to find out more about their new Card Holder Pro, a trackable aluminium wallet that you can never lose. Throughout the solar system, there are at least 288 fascinating moons orbiting the major planets. All have their own intriguing characteristics and unique features, but there is one that stands out amongst them all. A moon that looks more like the planets did 4 billion years ago than any modern celestial body. This is Io, the third largest moon of Jupiter, a place where mayhem rules the landscape. This is the most volcanically active body in the solar system, where hundreds of volcanoes are erupting right now. While no dedicated mission has been sent to Io, several spacecraft have flown by it, capturing spectacular close-up images, revealing its hellish surface for us to study and marvel at. So let's take a look at the closest images we have ever captured of the most volcanic place in the solar system. You are watching V101 Space. My name is Rob, and if you enjoy my videos, then remember to tap the like button and subscribe for much more to come. Most of what we know about Io comes from the Galileo spacecraft, which made a detailed study of the Jupiter system between 1995 and 2006. Since then, many other spacecraft, including Cassini and New Horizons, have made additional close observations as they passed by. And then there is the spacecraft Juno, which is still currently orbiting Jupiter, occasionally turning its cameras on to the volcanic moon, reminding us of all of its bizarre features. All of these spacecraft have given us a plethora of incredible images, new and old, revealing Io for what it really is, a world of violent extremes, where volcanoes are constantly erupting all over its surface, causing huge lava fountains and enormous lava lakes big enough to swallow a small country. The volcanoes on Io dwarf those on Earth in eruption scale and volume, and all of this is contained on a world that is slightly larger than our moon. Why is Io so hellish compared to all of the other moons in the solar system? Well, that is to do with its location. You see, Io is caught in a constant tug of war between Jupiter's massive gravitational pull on one side and the precisely timed gravitational pulls from its neighbouring moons Europa and Ganymede as they pass by in their orbits on the other side. This tugging makes Io stretch and bend, causing it to heat up, much like a ball of clay warms up in your hand as you squeeze it repeatedly. The enormous tidal forces Io is subjected to keep much of its subsurface in a liquid form that is constantly seeking any available escape route to relieve the immense pressure. Io has been described as basically turning itself inside out on an ongoing basis. The hellish surface, pockmarked by volcanoes and lakes of lava, is the result of this process and the largest of these features has been named Loki Patera. This incredibly sharp true colour image of Io taken by the Juno spacecraft in December 2023 reveals Loki Patera towards the bottom of the moon. You can hardly miss it as it stands out as a huge dark region with what looks like a floating island in the middle. This lava lake is a million times the area of any lava lake found on Earth. To get a closer look, we can view some of the images captured by the Voyager spacecraft back in March 1979. Here you can see the 202 km long lake is filled with magma, rimmed with hot lava and dotted with islands. Interestingly, Research has shown that cooling molten rock in the volcanic lake periodically sinks, allowing a dramatic wave of fresh lava that starts at one end to flow around the middle island and converge on the other side. A phenomenon that strangely occurs once every 500 days or so. 
When Juno recently imaged this area, it was also discovered that as the new lava rapidly cools, due to Io's frigid surface temperature of minus 130 degrees Celsius, it becomes highly reflective, as smooth as glass. Reminiscent of the volcanically created black obsidian glass found here on Earth. To the east of Loki Patera, however, is a feature that stands out more than any other on the surface of Io. The surrounding regions of the Pele volcano, the first active volcano ever discovered on another world. Encircling the volcano, you will notice an enormous reddish orange ring, roughly 1300 kilometers in diameter. This prominent feature, which is actually in the shape of a heart if you look closely, is the result of Pele continuously erupting, sending plumes of volcanic gases 300 kilometers above the surface, before freezing and settling back to the ground as a broad, reddish, sulfur rich ring. But Io has colour all over it. Take the colourful Tupan Patera for example, seen in this close-up image taken by the Galileo spacecraft back in October 2001. It is a clear volcanic depression about 75 kilometres across, surrounded by cliffs about 900 metres tall. In the centre is a large area that must be higher than the rest of the crater floor because it has not been covered by the dark lavas. The black material is recent, still warm lava. The yellow is presumed to be a mix of sulphurous compounds, and the green appears to form where red sulphur has interacted with the dark lavas. This surreal volcanic depression is a perfect example of the chemical reactions that are taking place all over the bizarre moon, resulting in magnificent colour patterns unlike anywhere else in the solar system. All of this chaos spread across the surface of Io creates the perfect conditions for a volcanic world like no other. And with an estimated 400 active volcanoes, it seems it was an easy task to capture close-up images of some of them erupting. This slightly blurry close-up image taken by the Galileo spacecraft in July 1999 reveals the volcano Prometheus from above as it erupted a broad, umbrella-shaped plume of gas and dust high into space. But in February 2007, we were treated to a spectacular view of an eruption, as the New Horizons spacecraft was passing by on its way to Pluto. This stunning sequence of photos was taken over a period of 8 minutes, and shows a plume of volcanic debris around 320 kilometers high drifting above the moon's fiery surface. The gas and dust were found to be erupting from the Vashtar Paterai, a region which can be seen in this close-up image taken by Galileo in February 2000. It is the location of one of the longest eruptions, lasting 530 days ever recorded on Io. But it's not just volcanoes that cover Io, there are also huge mountains, some of which are taller than any found here on Earth. They tend to be isolated rather than together in mountain ranges or chains, indicating that they are likely the result of volcanism rather than plate tectonics like here on Earth. It seems everything on Io is connected in some way by the fiery magma hidden beneath its surface. This NASA animation created using real data from the Juno spacecraft gives you an idea of what some of these bizarre mountains look like. This one has been nicknamed the Steeple, and is between 5 and 7 kilometers high. It's hard to comprehend the type of volcanic activity that could have created such a razor-sharp looking landform. The surface of Io is undoubtedly a landscape of mayhem, but if we zoom out and observe the moon in infrared light, a type of light we cannot normally see, we can see just how extreme it really is. This incredible infrared image taken by Juno in July 2022 shows us exactly how volcanically active Io is. 
Each one of these red, yellow, and white spots indicates a point where hot lava is churning away. The brighter the color, the higher the temperature. And if we overlay this infrared image over a visible light image, we get even more of a sense of just how chaotic Io's surface can be. However, although at the surface Io looks like a vision of hell, if we observe it from much further out, it becomes a world almost celebrating its own uniqueness. It displays a magnificent light show. You see, it is estimated that volcanic plumes across the moon pump more than 3,000 kilograms of sulfur dioxide and other gases out every single second. And although most of this is deposited onto the surface as it freezes or lost into space, with the help of sunlight, some of the sulfur dioxide is kept in a gaseous state, creating a very thin atmosphere. Mix this thin atmosphere with the energetic charged particles trapped in Jupiter's magnetic field, and Io glows, similar to the aurora we can see on Earth. This stunning image taken by the Galileo spacecraft in May 1998 shows the moon during an eclipse, revealing the vivid colors in its atmosphere that represent emissions from different gases. Such as the green comes from emitting sodium, the red from emitting oxygen, and the blue from emitting volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide. This spectacular time-lapse captured by the Cassini spacecraft on its way to Saturn in January 2001 provided us with another light show. Although Io is most often described as being hellish, it is actually a dynamic world of colour. Yes, its surface is toxic, frigid and chaotic, but because of its volcanic nature, it is one of the most fascinating and unique places in the solar system. And I can't wait to see the next set of images we receive of this vividly coloured moon of mayhem. Before we end this video, I want to show you the future of wallets. All my life, I've carried a leather bifold style wallet, one designed mainly for cash. But in this mostly cashless world we now live in, it's time for a wallet that suits our modern needs. This is where Exter's all-new Cardholder Pro comes in, one of their latest designs. Not only does it look great with its sleek, new ergonomic shape that fits perfectly in the palm of your hand, but it's also made of 100% recycled aluminium, with zero plastic being used. It can safely hold up to 14 cards, seven of which sit in the card holder and can be ejected when you press this really satisfying metal trigger, revealing your cards in a smooth action. A nice, high quality touch in my opinion. But beyond how great this wallet looks is how safe it makes your belongings. Because Exter's Card Holder Pro is made from aluminium, it blocks RFID, preventing wireless theft. And not only that, you can add a wallet tracker. Called a Finder Card, this ultra-slim rechargeable tracking device sits nicely on the back of the wallet and links to your smartphone, meaning you can never lose it. So, if you want the future in your pocket, check out EXTA. Use my code V101SPACE and you can get an additional discount on top of any web sales that EXTA is currently offering. Click on the link in the description and head on over to choose your next smart wallet, which, by the way, comes with a lifetime warranty. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then remember to like and subscribe for much more to come. And if you would like to support my channel even further, then why not buy me a coffee? A small donation goes a long way and helps me improve what I am attempting to build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.